Here we're going to show how to mount crossfires on a one-ton dually wheels. Typically when we're working with a commercial truck on a drive axle, uh, you'll take your crossfire, mount your AT bracket on it, bracket on it like so. You're going to hook your straight hose first, your curved hose second, your valve stems have to be opposite. Once those are connected onto your wheels, then you're going to find the most convenient spot to mount it on the heavy duty trucks. And you're going to mount off to the side like this under one of the ring of bolts on the drive hub. Uh, you can still snap a baby moon over the top. But on these one tons, when you go putting this crossfire off center, these wheels spin a lot faster at highway speed, 65, 70 miles an hour. It tends to throw the wheels a little out of balance, you'll feel the vibration. So what we've done here is we've come up with a way to mount this crossfire right in the middle. What you do is you hook your hoses up just like before, straight hose first, curved hose second. A lot of times on these one ton wheels, it, you can order these in with either a 90 degree end or a 180 degree end. We found it better to order the 180 degree end and then take this in and then bend him open, uh, 135 would be better, but they don't offer it. So you can take an end like this and a couple of half inch wrenches. And uh, a little tricky, but once you get onto it, and uh, you bend that uh, fitting open a little bit, so it's more like 135 degrees. Something like that. And what this does is these stems are coming on out on a little bit of an angle and it lets you connect on that stem and then the hose enters out through the wheel hole in a better location. So once you've got those hooked on, uh, this hub is not flat so you have to space your bracket out away from the hub a little bit to keep everything square. What we've done here is just use a 5 8 bolt. It's used as a spacer. This is a GM vehicle. We're using a half inch by two inch bolt. Find this locally, half inch flat washer. Somewhat like so. The nuts your spacer. Tighten this up. Center it up where you like it, and torque her down. I like that. Puts the crossfire generally right in the middle. Now if you have difficulty uh, tightening these nuts up on these hoses, what you can do, a lot of times I'll put these uh, hand holes at the 3 o'clock and 9 o'clock position so they're across from each other, and you can lay on the floor, reach in between the wheels. We've Modified some wrenches here just to make it longer so we can reach between the tires, tighten the nut up, or we've made our own crow's foot, took a half inch wrench, 3 8 rod, and that way we can reach back in here to tighten the nut up through the handhold. So, something else to keep in mind when you're mounting crossfires is you always need an all metal stem to hook your hoses on. You can't use the rubber based stems or they're going to pull out and uh, start a leak. Uh, I found these stems, they're made for Ford but they work really well on General Motors too. Uh, they have a 15 degree bend in them. Uh, part numbers of VS962C. Now where wheel covers are involved, you still need to mount the crossfire in a good sturdy location. So what we've done is we've taken the stainless steel wheel cover and we've cut the end of it out so when that's installed before you put the crossfire on the end of the hub is exposed and it gives you something solid to mount the crossfire to. So what you can do is measure how far your hub sticks out roughly about three, three and a half inches there and we came in and measured about three inches. Uh, you may want to go a touch less than that because this face here does not fit tight against the wheel here. It's going to be sticking out. So what, what you don't want to have is interference of the corners here of that bracket with this. So you may want to go two and a half inches out. Take and mark it at the two and a half inch location. Take an air die grinder with a cutoff wheel or you can buy these as a cutoff tool. 
cut through that. It takes about 30-45 seconds once you get onto it. Uh, if you're doing just a few of them, it works really well. Uh, tends to eat wheels though. If you're going to do a lot of these, uh, what I would do is make yourself a uh, height stop out of a piece of truck exhaust pipe so that you can run your cutoff wheel down to that and around it and not have to mark anything. Or the other thing you can do is uh, make your height stop, set this on a Lazy Susan or turntable where it will spin, then use your plasma cutter, hook the ground on, run your plasma down, or to, down to your stop, and then spin that thing right around and you'll have this thing cut off in about 20 seconds. That way when you install it, the end of that hub's exposed and then you can bolt your crossfire on in a good location there. Uh, Ford axle, this bolt will tip, a lot of times will be a 7 16 by 2 and you'll use a 7 16 flat washer and then still use the 5 8 nut as a spacer.